a jump. Right leg, right leg. There you go. Hands forward. Good. Good. One more time coming down so that you, you and her both get it straight. Just focus on rhythm and focus on keeping her between the legs. Obviously you have to keep her nose pointed down the middle. Good. Very nice. That's all right. She miscalculated. The rhythm didn't change though. That was really good. So you want to do one more canter or you want to quit with that? So wherever you're ready, just use the whole arena and just do a nice quiet canter. Use the whole arena, whatever you want to do. Good. Good, and sit back a little to adjust your speed. Good, and then give her her head. Good. Very nice. Use your leg. It's all right. So you kind of turned with your reins instead of changing the bend, so she kind of got off balance. She was just like, whoops. And there wasn't enough speed or momentum there for her to just kind of jump into it. So maybe just pick up your right lead canter and just do a nice quiet canter around. But I, I like that you're giving her that first stride or two and then you're slowing her down and setting the pace. It makes her more relaxed. Good. Very good. Makes a big difference, doesn't it? If you don't grab her right away. Nice. Good. And when you can, scratch her and tell her good girl. Think about bending, pushing her out a little bit. Good. And as much as you can, a floppy rein. It's just as much as you can. Because as she balances on her hind end, she'll go slower. Good. Good. And then just post slow. Very nice. Nice. Yay. You're so pleasant. <laughs> 